good morning so in my last video you have seen that how to solve the recurrence relation using uh, generating function that is a uh, first order and uh, second order homogeneous recurrence relation we have seen so now today in this video we are going to see how the first order and the second order non homogeneous recurrence relations can be solved using generating functions so let us first consider the first order non homogeneous recurrence relation given by an equals to t an minus 1 plus n with a0 equals to 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 so this recurrence relation can be written as an minus 3 an minus 1 equal to n bringing this uh, 3 an minus 1 to the left hand side will get this equation let us consider the general uh, generating function g of x equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square so on let it be equation 1 now multiply this uh, equation 1 by minus 3x what is this minus 3x is the is a coefficient of the lower term so minus 3 is the lower term so that minus 3 into x we are going to get minus 3x g of x equal to minus 3a0x minus 3a1x square minus 3a2x cube so on let it be equation 2 now adding equation 1 and 2 we get 1 minus 3x into g of x which is equal to a0 plus if you take the common factor x we will get a1 minus 3a0 plus x square into a2 minus 3 a1 plus x cube into a3 minus 3 a2 so on like this now by substituting the value of a0 by 1 we will get a0 uh, a0 uh, as it is plus x into this 3 a1 minus 3 a0 i can get it by substituting in the given recurrence relation n is equal to 1 so when n is equal to 1 i'll get a1 minus 3 a0 which is equal to 1 that's why this x into 1 plus x square into by substituting n is equal to 2 i'll be getting a2 minus 3 a1 which is equal to 2 so it is x square into 2 likewise substituting n equal to 3 i'll be getting a3 minus 3 a2 which is 3 so so on like this now a0 is equal to 1 this x into 1 is x plus 2x square plus 3x cube so on which is nothing but 1 plus x into 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube so on like this which is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x whole square which is equal to if i take the common factor then 1 minus x whole square into 1 minus x square plus x which is equal to 1 minus 2x plus x square plus x by 1 minus x whole square which is equal to if i take this x square and minus 2x plus x will be minus x plus 1 now by using the partial uh, functions i can write this as a divided by 1 minus x plus b divided by 1 minus x whole square plus c divided by 1 minus 3x therefore your x square minus x plus 1 is equal to is equal to a into 1 minus x that is because here 1 minus x is the denominator and the common factor if you take 1 minus x whole square into 1 minus 3x so a into 1 minus x into 1 minus 3x plus b into here you have already 1 minus x uh, whole square so it will be 1 minus 3x plus uh, c into 1 minus x whole square therefore your g of x which is equal to a n is equal to a divided by 1 minus x plus b divided by 1 minus x square plus c divided by 1 minus 3 x which is equal to a into 1 minus x plus b into a into 1 minus x into 1 minus 3 x plus b into 1 minus 3 x plus c into 1 minus x whole square if i multiply this uh, 1 minus x into 1 minus 3x i will be getting a into 1 minus 4x plus 3x square and if i open this bracket i will get b minus 3bx plus c into 1 minus x whole square expanded as 1 minus 2x plus x square so rhs will be like your uh, a that is a into 1 that is opening the bracket a minus 4ax 
plus 3ax square plus b minus 3bx plus c. Again here opening the bracket c minus 2cx plus cx square. Now writing the coefficients of x square. So what I have here is 3a plus c into x square. Next writing the coefficients of x. What I have here is minus 4a minus 3b minus 2c into x and the remaining constants a plus b plus c. Now comparing the coefficients of x square x and constants on both the sides I will get 1 is equal to 3a plus c minus 1 is equal to minus 4a minus 3b minus 2c and 1 is equal to a plus b plus c. Now if you solve these linear equations we are going to get a equals to minus 1 by 4 b is equal to minus 1 by 2 and c is equal to 7 by 4. So substituting these a, b, c values in the above equation, we will be getting a n which is equal to g of x equal to minus 1 by 4 divided by 1 minus x plus minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus x whole square plus 7 by 4 into 1 minus 3x which I can write it as minus 1 by 4 into 1 minus x plus minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus x square plus 7 by 4 into 1 minus 3x which is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 4 into and this is the generating function for 1 and this is the generating function for n plus 1 and this is the generating function for 3n. So therefore your a n will be minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 into n plus 1 plus 3 by uh, 7 by 4 into 3 raised to n. Now exp this uh, opening this bracket I will be getting minus 1 by 4 minus n by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 7 by 4 into 3 raised to n which is nothing but a n is equal to 7 by 4 into 3 raised to n minus 1 by 2 into n minus 3 by 4 such that n greater than or equal to 0. So likewise you can uh, solve one more example which is our towers of Hanoi problem. So I will be just explaining how this uh, recurrence relation has arrived. Suppose you have n disk then you need to transfer n minus 1 disk uh, two times from source to destination once and source to the uh, source to temporary first time and temporary to the destination once. So you will be having two times a n minus 1 plus the last last disk you have to transfer from source to the destination. So your recurrence relation will be a n equals to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1 with a0 equal to 0. What is the meaning of a0 equal to 0? When you do not have any disk, then there is no uh, number of uh, uh, transfers will be 0. So, here a n represents the number of disks to be number of uh, transfers that is n number of disks to be transferred from uh, source to the destination using the temporary peg. So, this you can uh, solve it as an exercise. I will be just leaving as an exercise for you and the solution I will be telling that a n equals to 2 raised to n minus 1 with n greater than or equal to 0. So, this is how your uh, first order non-homogeneous recurrence relation can be solved. Now, coming to the second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So, we will consider a n plus 2 minus 2 a n plus 1 plus a n is equal to 2 raised to n. So, all of you as you know that on the RHS you have 2 raised to n which is uh, telling that the recurrence relation is a non-homogeneous with a0 equals to 1 and a1 equals to 2 for n greater than or equal to 0. Now, this recurrence relation uh, is uh, again I have written and uh, now the coefficient of lower first lower term is minus 2 an minus 2 though multiplied by minus 2 x and uh, second lower term is 4. So, it is 4 into, hmm, so it is uh, just a, just a minute. So, here the second lower term has a coefficient 1. So, therefore, multiply equation 1 by x square. As we know that your equation 1 is your general generating uh, function. So, by adding all these uh, 1, 2, 3, we will be getting 1 minus 2x plus x square into gx is equal to a0 plus here if you take the common factor you will get a1 minus uh, a1 minus 
into a0 plus x square into plus x square into a2 minus 2a1 plus a0 plus x cube into a3 minus 2a2 plus a1 so on like this now given that a0 is equal to 1 substituting i will get 1 plus x into a1 minus 2a0 so a1 is 2 a0 is 2 so 2 minus 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 minus 2 which is 0 plus x square into a2 is 2 this whole thing is uh, obtained by writing n is equal to 0 if n is equal to 0 i will be getting a2 minus 2a1 plus a0 which is equal to 2 power 0 that's what here this uh, a2 minus 2a1 plus a0 i am replacing by 2 power 0 so likewise this a3 minus 2a1 plus a1 i will be replacing by 2 raised to 1 so on so now this will be equal to 1 plus this term gets cancelled that is become 0 plus x square into and uh, remaining will be uh, this x square i will be taking common from the remaining factors so x square into 1 plus 2x plus 2 square x square plus 2 cube x cube so on like this which is nothing but 1 plus x square into 2 uh, 2 x raised to k which is nothing but it's a generating function for 1 divided by 1 minus 2x so it will be 1 plus x square into 1 divided by 1 minus 2x which is nothing but 1 minus 2x plus x square divided by 1 minus 2x and this 1 minus 2x plus x square and this 1 minus 2x plus x square get cancelled therefore your a n which is uh, g of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 2x and we know that this uh, generating function is for 2 raised to n therefore your a n is equal to 2 raised to n for n greater than or equal to 0 is the final solution. Thank you.